Hello everybody, Mark Wilson with Ames Tools. Today we're going to talk about the bazooka and cleaning the tool, keeping it clean during the day so you can work more efficiently during the day with the tool. A um, couple points that you want to definitely keep clean of the joint compound from drying out is where your tape goes through. As you know, you've got the tape guide here. Your tape will flow through this area right here all day. So joint compound will get in here, it'll dry. Um, you just definitely want to keep that brushed off and washed during the day with a bucket of water and a brush. Um, keep, just keep that nice and, and clean. Another area that you want to keep clean is where your blade cuts the tape. As you know, the blade crosses through here, the block, and it comes out the other side. You want to keep that area free and clear. Occasionally, you may need to release the blade, pull it out, just to make sure there's no pieces of, uh, pieces of tape cut in there. Be careful because the blade's very sharp. And keep that nice and clean. Um, mostly the whole head. You want to keep that dry, anything from drying out on the head uh, of the taper. Now lubrication points, some key points you want to keep lubricated, certainly where the tape moves, definitely right here where the, where the gooser needle moves up and down. Um, it's just retracted with a magnet, so we want to make sure that this is nice and smoothly, freely moving. And there's no dry compound getting up in here, so oil that a little bit, keep that nice and clean movement. Uh, another key point you want to keep lubricated is what we call a disengaging rod. As your plunger cup comes up, it's going it's to disengage the... Uh, the drive dog, so we want to keep that area lubricated. Just spray some oil in here periodically just to keep that area uh, moving freely, no jo dry joint compound. And again, you can spray oil in on your blade where your blade uh, goes through with the chain and the block. Another little tip you can do is on the other end of the tool is to take a um, tile grout sponge, pretty dense cellulose sponge, just cut a piece off and place it in the end of the tube. It just keeps any small residue that as that plunger goes up and down there will be some dry residue in there. It keeps from drying out, just keeps the plunger tube nice and moist and not from drying out. So that'll help you out during the day.